Welcome back to technology. This time, pixel art, sprites, and such. What's a pixel? Hmm. Well, it's a minute, which means very, very tiny area of illumination on a display or screen. And sprites are made of pixels. We'll talk about sprites in just a second. Old TV screens had less pixels. So if you had a really old TV, you could see if you looked really close, you could see these little squares of light and each one of those was a pixel and there was less of them so they were easier to see. Uh, the amount of pixels on a screen is called resolution. Old versus new screens or monitors or TVs. Old TVs had a resolution uh, generally of about 720 by 480 pixels. That means 720 across and 480 uh, up and down vertically. Now 720 times 480 is 345,600 pixels. That seems like a lot of pixels, right? But new TVs have a resolution of around 4,000 by around 2,000. And so 4,000 across and 2,000 up and down. 4,096 times 2,160 is 8,847,360 pixels. That's a lot of pixels. That's 25 times as many pixels in new screens as in old screens. So you could fit 25 of these old TVs pixels-wise inside of a uh, new TV. But what's a sprite? We were just talking about a sprite earlier. Sprites are made of pixels, right? What's a sprite? Well, it's a term that uh, programmers made for a computer graphic that may be moved on a screen or manipulated as one single thing, as a single entity. And it's a two-dimensional character made with minimal colors and pixels, and it's usually animated. But why do sprites look so simple? You might be able to guess a little bit uh, since we talked about it. Well, it's because of those old screens and also because of the old computers. Older computers and video game consoles were less powerful. They couldn't process as much graphically. So the graphics in the art had to be really simple for it to run on the old computers. And the art in games uh, has evolved as the technology with, with, of video games has evolved as well and the technology of computers. And so as computers became faster, sprite art became slowly but surely more detailed and better until they went into 3D and then the 3D models became better and more polygons and more textures until we have very, very detailed characters nowadays. As you can see here, the resolution is really small and very simple early on, and the characters got more and more detailed as time went. That's because of the technology. Why should we make pixel art, though, since it's so old, right? Well, I think it still it looks very cool, and it's pretty easy to make, too. So... But another reason is new, many newer games are still using sprite uh, art style today. So all of these are brand new games, more or less, that came out, and they're using older style sprite, sprite artwork. Let's talk about how you can make a sprite. Uh, so here's an example. You can start with the eyes of a character, for example, and then you can make an outline, and then you can make uh, just a little bit more lines in there, and then color it in, and then do some details, and you're done. Wow, that was fast. Oh, that's just because I had a series of pictures, don't worry. Today, 
What, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Let's make some pixel art. Not pixel art, that's pixel art because that's the program we're gonna use. So, so uh, just follow the instructions in the next section and you'll see how to do this. Here's the instructions on how to make your pixel art. So, uh, on Seesaw, number two, it says, click on this link and it says, Fiscal app. Let's click on it. Boop. And it takes us here. Then you're going to want to click on create sprite. Either here or here. Okay? And it'll take us to the, the Fiscal drawing program. Now, uh, there's all sorts of tools on the left. Or on the left. And uh, it starts you on the pen tool, and that's pretty good just for drawing. And you can draw, and you can see it look, makes little pixels every, everywhere you draw. And I can make something, or I can push Control Z and undo, and undo, and undo, undo, undo. I don't like it. Remember, Control Z. Remember, remember, if I'm drawing, uh, Control is that key right in the bottom there, and I hold it down with one finger, and then with the other finger, I just press Z. And I can undo what I did. Ta-da! Undo. Ta-da! Control Z. Control Z. Control Z. Uh, so when I'm ready to start drawing, uh, maybe I'll draw like I showed you with those pictures. So I can start with the eyes. Okay? Maybe I'll make a character with some eyes like that. And if I want to make some whites around, you can click on the little black color box down there and then you can choose within here your color that you want so I'm gonna go back all the way up to the top drag and let go and then I'll have white okay and I can make some little whites around these eyes Ta -da. and looks pretty good maybe I want just part of maybe I want just part of those like that to erase um, now if you're on a Chromebook uh, it's a little tougher if you're using your finger, uh, I would say, but you can right click if you're using a mouse and uh, this box, the secondary box, has no color selected. So it's, and if you right click, it's just like uh, erase. And you can erase like that, okay? Um, <clears throat> now, next thing I wanted to do was I wanted to make the outline uh, of my character. So I'll just make an outline. Let's see. I'll make something simple. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, whatever you want to make is fine. <laughs> Maybe I'll make something like this. Maybe it's kind of like a simple kind of Kirby character. Who knows? Maybe he's got a mouth. Or maybe that's his nose. Who knows? Maybe he's got big teeth. Or I don't know. Maybe I don't like that. Let's make keep him cute. Um, maybe he's got some ears. There we go. There we go. Uh, <clears throat> perfect. You can have a tail. It's up to you whatever you want to create. It doesn't have to be a character. It can be something completely different. This is all up to you. Uh, now, how do I mix, fill in some color? That was the next step. Well, I can go over to this side and use the paint bucket, just like in Tux Paint. I've got a paint bucket, and I can choose a color. Okay, I can choose a color, and if I drag this wheel or the scrolling color bar down, I can choose different types of colors there. And I could choose a color. Maybe I want to make him bright yellow green. And then I could fill him in. Whoa, that's too bright. I don't know. Maybe I'll make him a little bit less bright. Maybe we'll go with like darker blue or something. Maybe turquoise like that. That's kind of cool. Uh, now, I could fill in any spot that's contained, of course. If I draw around with black or a different color, the fill bucket always makes the pixels that are all contained in there. Turn that color, of course. Um, let's do some more details. I'm going to choose black. Once you start picking colors, uh, you'll notice you get a little palette of what colors you've used before. So it's easy to switch between them. You get a little bit of, uh, and it's, it has it over here too. Um, of, so you can just choose easily which colors you want to do. Maybe uh, make some spots or something. Maybe he's got some Maybe he's got some uh, lines here. Who knows? Maybe he's maybe he's got like a tiger. I don't know. A green tiger. 
Who knows what it is? What is this? Is, is it a cat? I don't, I don't know. Whatever. Um, let's add a few more colors, maybe some lighter colors just to uh, make it a little bit highlighted. There we go. And can have some colors over here, maybe like a Maybe like that, just some highlights, and ta-da, I've got a cute little sprite. Awesome. Now, how do I save it? Here's the tricky part, it's a little tricky. Um, so to save, and there's save, and then there's export, okay, these two things here. If I wanna make a title, a uh, name for my character, I'm, I'm gonna do save, but I don't even need to do that. So let's just go to export, so it's a little confusing. To save, you want to go to export. Export. Okay. And now you want to drag this scale bar over here up. We want we don't want it to be at just 32 because if it's at 32, uh, you'll see. I'll show you what what happens. Okay. If it's at 32 and I go back to Seesaw and I up try to upload my picture, which I'll show you how to do in a second, it won't look good because it's too low of a resolution. So I need to go and raise the resolution scale bar up to around, let's say 480 is pretty good, okay? Then I need to make sure that I'm on not GIF, but I'm on PNG, okay? So I wanna click PNG and then to save, I click download right here in the first top download button says sprite sheet file export download and it downloads okay that was it I know it was a little complicated let me show you again real quick from the beginning so export raise the scale bar to about 460 or 480 uh, PNG click PNG and click download now to put it on Seesaw I know this is a little complicated, but we'll get there. You want to go to the assignment on Seesaw, and you go to Add Response, and then it says click Upload and upload your file. So you're gonna click Upload right there, and then you're gonna click Select from Computer, just like we did for your uh, stop motion videos now, okay? And you're gonna look for New Piscal, okay? It should show your drawing just as New Piscal, and if you made more than one, it'll have a number next to it, okay? Which it, the newest one has the biggest number. So you're gonna just click New Piscal, open, and click the check mark, and then you're done. You can add some stuff to them here, like maybe I wanna add uh, maybe I want to add like uh, a thing, like I could say, hi, I'm a green hat thing. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, when you're all done, then you can click the green check mark and you're, and you're done. Good job. You did a complicated assignment. If you managed to do this one, good work. So when you're on... <clears throat> Oh. <laughs> <laughs>